Hey guys, welcome to this lesson in Workflow My Workload. I am your guide, Justin Razio, and today I get to show you what your work apps are within Smartsheet. Now, I know many of you have heard a lot of hype around work apps. Well, today is your day. I'm gonna show you exactly what they are, and more importantly, how to build them out correctly. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so in this episode, we're gonna look at work apps. And as I mentioned before, many of you have probably heard a lot of hype around work apps. And the cool thing about work apps is it lets you um, separate per department specific things that you want your department to see. So say today I'm gonna be using um, a lemonade stand, a franchise of a lemonade stands going on the north side, east side, south side, and west side. And maybe you only want the north side franchise to see all the north side stuff and the south side to see all the south side stuff. But then you also want an overarching theme where someone who's at headquarters, so to speak, can see all the franchises at once. And when you start growing, it can get very easy. It gets very easy to get lost within sheets and folders and workspaces. Like, ah, where am I at? Um, especially when you only want specific teams looking at specific things. And so Work Apps helps consolidate that all in one nice little package. And I'm going to show you how it works and how to create one successfully. And if you haven't yet already, uh, please subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, I have created a free lesson for you guys, 45 minutes long, absolutely free smart sheet content. And it's things that I cover that I get asked more than anything else. It's a free lesson, 45 minutes, it's just raw smart sheet content. And that link is below in this video. So please uh, click on that link you're gonna be doing yourself a massive, massive favor. All right, let's jump into these work apps. All right, so here we have our home screen that you're all very familiar with. And your work apps is gonna be this icon right here, the four diamonds that I like to call it. So you're just gonna click on this icon here. And it's gonna, if you've never used work apps before, this is a screen you're going to see. And if you have created a few work apps or you've been shared to a few, maybe you still see a screen like this and you're like, hey, where'd my work apps go? You can actually toggle in between work apps created by you and work apps that people have shared with you. So just keep that in mind in case you're not seeing the work apps that somebody has already shared with you. All right, so we're gonna go and create a, uh, a new work app. So you're gonna click on this button right here, create app. And Smartsheet is nice enough to uh, give you some templates to work with, but I'm gonna do it from scratch in case what you guys are working on is very unique. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna pretending that we are a franchise owner of a lemonade stand. We started out as kids, it's really grown, we got multiple locations going on. And let's say I wanna create a work app for the executives, for the team that's gonna look over all the other franchises. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to retitle this. So I'm gonna say, let's say headquarters, lemonade, And I'm gonna go over here and you can choose who you want to add that has uh, permission to look at this. This is very important. And one of the key things of work apps, deciding who and who cannot view that specific work app. And I'm gonna keep it as myself for now. And we're gonna go in the settings. Now this is very, very cool. You can actually change the theme and actually give you a ton of leeway in this. So for the first one, I'm gonna do the logo that shows up at the top. We'll just do my lemon logo. Let it fit in there, it's gonna be a little small, but we'll make it work. And then we're gonna do the thumbnail. And these will all make sense in just a few minutes here what all these different logos go to. And then the accent color, I'm gonna choose like a, like a peach here. And 
this is really cool. It's the bookmark icon. You can actually change the icon on your tab, which is really cool, especially when you're working with multiple different work apps. Okay, last one. Got that loaded. We'll make that make that little guy fit. Oh, yep, there we go. All right, so we are done with that. So now we're going to start building out our actual apps in our work app. And so all of your apps or your buttons that I like to call them are going to show up right here on your page on the left hand side. So I already created a folder specifically for work apps. And let's go ahead and choose this one here. Now I'm going to choose this one, this report, and this as well. And before you add them, it by default chooses all of them to be hidden. And it does that just in case uh, you forget that, hey, there's somebody already added to this work app that you don't want them to see some information. It's just kind of a safety net. Um, but right here you can choose, hey, I want everybody that has permission to this work app to um, have these different permission settings. So what's cool about this is not only can you separate work apps per team, but you can actually get all the way down to specific people that you want having access to specific specific apps. So we'll just do we'll just do viewer, and they show up here on the left. And if you're like, hey Justin, I want to add a form to this, how do I do that? So to add a form, let's go ahead and do. Let's do this. So add pages. You're going to go to forms. And then you're going to put in the uh, URL link for your form. And I already have one here. It's going to pull it from this last one I just built out for this demo here. Actually, you know what? I did have the other one built out earlier. Here we go. Right here. Copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste the URL link right here that I've copied. I'm going to give it a name. HQ, Headquarters Franchise Form. Save that. And we'll do View. And that is how you get your apps and your work apps. And you can toggle through here. And as you notice, when you click on each button or each app, all the content shows up on the right. Now, this is all interactive. You can make changes to this depending on your permission setting. You can look at your reports. And last but not least, your dashboard. And again, this is all interactive. And see, I want to look at maybe I got the, so I got here the uh, franchise for the entire kit and caboodle. I got the north side, the east side, maybe I got the south side, so on. And I want to, but this time I want to look at just the north side. Well, I went ahead and created that a little earlier for you guys. I'm going to click on my work apps here. Remember, it's just a button. So here I got my headquarters lemonade stand that we just created. And then this one I created a little while ago for you guys. This is just the north side. So you got headquarters and then you got north side. So I'm going to click here. And instead of a pink theme, it's going to look a little different. It's going to be a yellow theme. I know it's probably bright and ugly for you guys, but I picked it real quick just so you could see the you could see the difference. And again, these are different sheets and these are different dashboards. So maybe this is this would be the perfect work app for the people just working on the north side. And see that as if as if I'm someone that works on the north side in the franchise, I don't have access to those other buttons. I don't have access to the entire franchise. I only can see what permission setting has been given to me. And again, the permission setting, um, when you set this, edit app, and you're going to click on roles right here. You can also click the icon right here as well on the left, and you can add roles. And what's cool is you can give the title of the role. It doesn't pick for you. So maybe I'm a lemonade. Maybe I'm craving for a lemonade barista. I'm not sure what they're called, but we'll just call a lemonade barista. 
and then we'll start adding people. Maybe I'll add And then you can also do the page settings. So remember, you can choose individually each one what they're going to have access to. For these people, these people on the left, what they have access to on the right. Editor, viewer, and viewer. And as you can see here, And before you um, finish all this, don't forget to click Publish. And, oh, I didn't like something there. I, and also gives you the link right here of the published content. So watch this, copy this. We'll go to a new tab. Put the link right in there. and this is what they see. And what's cool about this is for people who have uh, do that do a lot of work on their mobile phones and they're using the SmartSheet app, Work Apps is incredible. And so I'm gonna show you really fast um, just a, a screen video of my phone using this exact Work App right here. So let's take a look at that. All right, Work Apps for our phones. Button is going to be at the bottom. Click on the app we just created. Opens up to the form. Click on the top left, and there are all your work apps. I'm just going to be clicking into them, going back, clicking into another one, and that is work apps on the mobile phone. And it's interactive, just like on the screen. And again, don't forget to click publish. You're just going to click the button right here. It's going to be publish, and publish and notify. And you get a little party here. It lets you know that it went through correctly. And here it gives you a link. And again, you can just take that link and you can paste it wherever you want. Send it to whoever you want. And they will have, um, as long as you've added them into the roles here, they will have access to the work apps. And that is how uh, you create work apps. That's how they work within Smartsheet. And again, it's very nice, consolidates everything um, for each team and for those looking over multiple teams. And uh, Smartsheet also just came out with a thing where it's not just uh, work apps on a project level, but also on a portfolio level, which we'll cover in future lessons. But that's what I have for you guys today. Please don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, click on that link below for that free lesson of Smartsheet content. Absolutely free. All right, you guys, take care and God bless.